please get ready for this one. I came across a post online where one user admitted, uh, it was a man, to canceling a four-day getaway he planned for himself and his girlfriend following her response after he asked her for $100. The user claimed he spent 200 a night on a hotel, 150 per person on white water rafting, 125 per person on zip lining, 250 per person for the hot air balloon, and $80 a day for the SUV rental. He went on to explain that he didn't need the money. He just wanted to see whether or not she would give it to him. In closing, the man says, people don't think long term. Test failed, oh. ladies. What are your thoughts on this? First of all, why is he testing her? Wait, I want to understand. When you add that all up, obviously her share is more than 100. Was he, what was his point in asking for just 100? He was joking. He wasn't, he actually didn't want the money from her. Right. He didn't want the money from her. He didn't need it from her. It was just to see, I'm about to spend all this money on this woman. Let me see if she would even give me 100. Like, well, what what happened was he got upset because he asked her for the 100, and she said, what do you need the money for? And so, because he wrote a post after that saying, that's why, he was like, you know, why are you asking me? Yeah. You know, I'm the man, I'm supposed to provide. If I ask you for 100, just give me the 100. He was hot. No, I get it, though. I kind of, I mean, I nah. feel like you shouldn't be testing someone in a relationship like that anyway. But I think, right. I, I get what he was trying to say. Like, if I'm paying for all this, and I'm sure at $100, if she did not have it, see, I understand the that. The whole point, that, that was my, I think she was asking, what do you need the money for? Because maybe she didn't have the $100, and if he really needed it, maybe she would have went and got it. But if you didn't ask her, you I know, agree. like, or tell right, her, right, then right. it's like, so now you just saying, oh, yeah. she automatically got it, you know? Yeah, I think he was really right funny. all the way up to the point when she asked him what did he need it for, and he, got mad. Yeah. Like, that was stupid. Yeah. Like, you should have just been like, no, I really need it. Just, I could give it back to you. Whatever the case is going to be. I get wanting to see that the relationship you're in is equal. That it's not like, oh, I'm going to do all of these things for you and I can't even ask you for $100 in the case of an emergency. Yeah. Um, and again, I do think that she may have given it to him had he explained what it was needed for and why it was important. She would have made it happen, possibly. And he just should have said, I want the money because I, I want it. I mean, just <laughs> instead of getting mad because well, she didn't give an excuse. Right, but but also, I think if she had it, maybe she would have given it to him, but I don't think you should be testing people, yeah, period. Yeah. You shouldn't be testing people, right, period. Exactly. I think if he really wanted that, he could have just said, hey, Babe, so I'm sure at 100. I'm planning a trip for us, and here's the total. You know, do you feel comfortable, like, chipping in at all? You don't have to, but guys, if you do... I, cool. Guys, he didn't need the money. He didn't want the money. Right, he was he did, her. But if you wanted to test her to see what kind of person she is, that's how you yeah. present But also, her. they've been... Th- you don't make a- it seem like someone owes you, because that's so cringy. I wouldn't give you the money if and if I had it, because it's cringy. But also, they had been dating for a while, so didn't he know who she was before the $100 he test? He just got mad one day. He said, I'm just tired of this. That's what it sound like. Have you guys... Have you guys never tested your mate, maybe somebody that you haven't been with for a long time, but in the beginning, where you're like, let me see if I'm, you know, have you ever seen those memes that say, like, don't, don't, um, I don't know what they are. They're like, don't go through an ocean for somebody that wouldn't jump a puddle for you. Right. I know there's a better way. And there are a lot of people that sometimes feel like the relationship is one-sided. Like, they tend to feel like, well, I'm doing all of these things. I would love to see if it just might be reciprocated. Yeah, but it's, I'm too grown to be doing that. I'm, if I want something from you, I'm just gonna ask you. That's, I mean, that's how I feel. If I want James to do something for me, I talk, I, this, I want you to take out the trash. I ain't gonna be testing and leaving trash all around the house. Right, see <laughs> if you're the trash still there. <laughs> like, no, 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 you take out. You, I mean, we need to stop playing games. I'm with you, Jeannie. That's what I'm saying. The game plan is not necessary when you are in a grown and sexy relationship. So do you think he should have just said, hey, I'm about to plan this really expensive trip for you. I'm just so curious. Would you be... Would you chip in? You want to be chipping in? Would yeah. you chip in? Like, babe, like, I got all the tips. Or... He didn't want her to chip in. Said. That's what you're not getting. He didn't want her to chip in. He didn't want her money. He didn't want none of that. He just wanted to know for his he inner peace, for his gut. That's what you're not getting. Once she said, sure, how much do you need? Then he would say, never mind, just kidding. Right. I wanted to see. Uh, That's what you're not getting. 
No, I did. That's what I'm saying. And I guess when she asked him, what do you need it for? He didn't want it. That's where he went wrong, in my opinion. Yeah, because he, he should have said he, he should have gave her a reason why. Because you don't yeah. know somebody's personal finances. That's my my thing is, too, you going on the trip, you're going to get something from her. You know what you're going to get oh, from her. Oh, but that's chicka, wham, like wham, a... Oh, wham, God. Wham, OK. Wham, Take wham. That's more than $100 worth, huh? That's what I was going to say. It, it, OK. Okay. I'm I feel saying. like don't be taking people on trips that you don't know their financial situation. If you can't have this open, honest conversation with them, why are you going Thank on a trip? You. Thank you. Thank you, Adrian. And if you have any qualms about paying up front, then don't take people on trips. Take your own self. Or if you don't think you're being that. used. If right, you think you're being thing. used, I think he thought he was it. being used. That's why he was like, let me see if I can get out of her. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, check this one out. I came across a social media post where one user stated, I became a homebody so bad that when I'm out, you'll get a good one hour out of me and then I'm ready to go. Ladies, what are your thoughts on this? And are you guys homebodies? Um, are you the homebody in your friend group? Jeannie? Uh, yo, after COVID, don't tell me you guys didn't feel this. After COVID, you be out for literally 45 minutes and then you're like, oh my God, I could be enjoying this whole scene on a test message at home. Yeah. Why am I out here? Right? Don't yeah. you start feeling that? Your sometimes, heels start hurting way more than they did years ago. Oh my God, sometimes I have more fun getting ready and then I'm like, I could stay home. Oh. <laughs> you know, Completely. the music, you're putting on your makeup, you're having a good time, maybe you have a, a glass of wine and then you're like, this is much more fun, I could be home. The I worst thing is agree. when you start picturing your bed. You start picturing your bed. You start yawning. It's like 8 p.m. You already want to go, and you're trying to figure out the excuse. You're trying to get your Uber to time just right that when they arrive, you can bounce and not have a long goodbye. It's so bad. You know what? That's called getting old. Uh, See, <laughs> I like to stay hip. So I like to be out and about. And yeah, you not getting no line. You be out. I get energized. You do. When I went after they let us out, yeah. and I went on my first red carpet, yeah. I was energized. I'm like, look at all the people and the stars and the cameras. And I were you it. hugging them? No. Uh, I was yeah. saying, you know me. Hey, <laughs> do I feel like though, Adrian, did Lonnie <laughs> make a flip though? Because she used to be the one yeah. who wants to go home. All the really? Time. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, and now you're wrong? being out. No, you are absolutely Jeannie. right. Remember that one time? We went to an award show and I low key cried. I was like, I want to go home so bad. <laughs> no. He had to give me a pep talk. Literally, she's like, Is everything okay? Are you all right? <laughs> and I was like, I don't know what's wrong with me. The things that I genuinely used to love doing, I loved red carpets when I was younger. I loved all of this. I was like, I don't enjoy this anymore. Like, I literally could cry being here. No. And she was like, oh my god. That gosh. two years in that house. Right, change things. That changed my mind. Yeah. I realized that that's two years that I didn't travel, that I didn't right. get to see my friends, that I, I missed agree. the dinners, that I missed taking the picture, parties. everything, you know? Yeah. And so now I'm like, yeah. life is short. Let me enjoy it. Let me go out. I want a little bit of both. Out. I want to go out, I also want to stay home. Wow. When I go out, I come home real quick. <laughs> <laughs> real quick.